solve our lantern project, we also use the normal physics that we learn and at our schools. So as we know how to measure the voltmeter, the current that is passing through the wires, this also help us so as to innovate. So what I'm encouraging my fellow students is to always use the knowledge that we study so as to innovate and be creative so that we can solve some problems in our society. Thank you, my name is Inesa Bright, I am currently studying at Fire Girls School Jisozi and I'm going in Senior 3 and I'm with my colleagues. Thank you, I'm by my name is Okila Twinza Fabia, I came from JS Tawago in Yagadere District, I am going in Senior 3. Thank you, my name is Daishime Felix, I study at the Tsim Lamba in Ibrore District, I am going to study in Year 3. Thank you, my name is Mubunye Eli, I come from the Cold Secondary in Nyanza in Nyanza District and I encourage in the Thank you, I'm Moni Tuzaimana from TTC Gachua 2 at Lubavu District and I'm going to Senior 6. Thank you, my name is Sumara Mabra, I come from the Jess Land A in the Desla District, I encourage in Senior 6. Thank you very much. So here we are dealing with a project that is entitled the Solar Power and the Solar Lanterns. So this is a lantern, our traditional lantern that we used to use in past years. But in past years we used to put in kerosene that it can light. So with now the innovation of solar powers, we have now invented a new methodology so that we can use these solar powers in lighting our solar lanterns. So how we can do this? We use the solar power as we, we use the bulbs and the solar panels so that we can light these bulbs into these solar lanterns. So these are connecting wires so that they can light using the solar energy. So this project is very very beneficial first of all. It is very cheap since it, we are not going to have to use the electricity, the normal electricity. And for people who live in rural areas who cannot access electricity, they will be using these solar lanterns because they use the solar power, which is always accessible and re reliable. It cannot go on. So also, the, another importance, this is very beneficial in our studies since it is improving our knowledge so as to become innovative and become future engineers so that we can also innovate more projects that will help us to innovate and to also improve our electricity here in Rwanda. So in this solar lantern project we also use the normal physics that we learn and at our schools so as we know how to measure the voltmeter, the current that is passing through the wires, this also help us so as to innovate. So what I'm encouraging my fellow students is to always use the knowledge that we study so as to innovate and be creative so that we can solve some problems in our society. What is the process you go through until you get the light? So the process we go through, first of all we have to connect the solar panels to these bulbs that we have put inside this solar lantern. So the solar lanterns are passed through here so that they can be in the solar lantern. And also what we do is that we connect these solar bulbs, I mean they are normal bulbs. We connect the bulbs to the solar panel so that the light that is coming from the sun is connected and we can easily get our light. Thank you.